What is up my people? Today's video is going to be another video about books. Uh, it's exciting if you read books. It's not exciting if you don't read books. But uh, today's video is going to be all about the books that I have been reading. And yes, this is pretty much the exact same video as the other one that I did that I was like, five books that are changing my life. So here's the dealio, is that yes, those books have definitely changed my life. And so have these ones. And I'm pretty sure that the next five books are also going to change my life in some little way. Books are great. Books are magical. And Audible is sponsoring this video. I really love doing sponsored videos with companies that I truly, truly believe in and that I use myself and ask, like, I just want to give you my family's phone numbers so you can call them and be like, yo, does Allison really use Audible? And yes, we're going to use two phones. Hey, Maddie. Hey, Lisa. Does Allison actually listen to Audible as much as she says she does in this sponsored video? Yes, she listens to it nonstop. Every time we go on a trip, she's like, oh my God, can I play my book? And everyone's like, mm. so I'm just going to go through, um, here is my audible library and so the most recent book that i've been reading is called big magic creative living beyond fear and this is by elizabeth gilbert the same author that wrote eat pray love which was a bestseller for like three years so big magic is all about creativity and i've had such a creative block in the last couple of months because i've been dealing with other personal problems and it's been really hard for me to be creative I guess and this book has just it's given me a new perspective on creativity as in what the hell is creativity like okay so I had this thought the other day if money wasn't a thing and people weren't just doing things for money what would we be doing? Like, what would all the humans be doing? I just sat there and really pondered this thought. Like, if money was just nothing, if, if we just all had, like, this unlimited supply of money, like, what would we be doing? We would be letting our creativity, our ideas flow. And another thing that struck me when I had this thought was, while I was in New Orleans, they have a lot of little art districts and people selling their art. And I went around each little tent, and these adults were selling their art like there was this one man that was creating like giant figures out of metal crazy figures of faces and they were doing all these different hand movements but it was all out of scraps of metal but it looked beautiful and i just was like this man really spends a good portion of his spare time creating and just doing this for no monetary value really like I know he sells it on the street but like I know he's not making a living off of his scrap metal statues <laughs> and after reading this book about creativity all of those people selling those things it it made more sense to me creative living is it's in us it's in our DNA we each have this kind of creative outlet every single person is a creative person and the creative idea has a conscious mind at least in this book in this opinion of this writer and each conscious mind of an idea bounces around to each collaborator in search for the perfect one to manifest this idea to life and that's how it works like that's what it's all about we've been creating art since the beginning of time like before agriculture before all of this industrial revolution and stuff we have been creating creating just letting these ideas like what are ideas they're injected into our mind from an external source we don't get to choose our ideas we don't get why they pop into our brain but they do and when they do we have an option to either grab onto it and manifest it into real life and say okay this is an idea that i have the opportunity to bring to life or I'm not ready for it. And it can jump to another collaborator who is willing or ready or in the right mind space to bring it to life. I just think it's so cool. It really gave me a new perspective on creativity. It opened up a new part of me that really missed that side of me. Like I was super into art in high school. I used to create things all the time and I've just gotten into such a rut that this book has really helped me get out of. I can't even stop smiling about this next one because I have read this book four times now. Four times now! This woman's voice plays in my head when I'm not even listening to the book. I swear you not. This is called The 
Power of Vulnerability by Brene Brown. Brene Brown is a PhD in psychology, I believe, and she teaches on vulnerability, fear, and a bunch of tough emotions that most people don't even want to dabble into at all. Most people want to stay far away from, but she goes right to the heart of it. She figures out why we feel such emotions and how they play out in our everyday lives, how we can control them, how we can utilize them for the best of our, you know, for the best of our lives. And what I love most about Audible is that a lot of the books are read by the author. And this one in particular, which I absolutely love, is more of a sound recording. She wasn't, it's not necessarily a book, it's just like a recording of her talking. It's more like a TED talk. It's so good. Any mothers out there, I highly, highly, highly recommend The Power of Vulnerability. I'm not a mom, I don't plan to be a mom, but this, like, when I listen to it, I'm like, I would want to be the, the type of mom that Brene Brown is. She just gives such good advice and things that you would never really think to uh, implicate into your life. She just makes it seem so easy and so obvious, like as in why wouldn't you do that kind of thing? You know what I mean? She talks so much about shame, which was such a big part of why I love this book so much because I personally hold a lot of shame and I know a lot of other people do too. And getting our heads around what shame is, what kind of role it plays in our life, why it's here, what it means, what it's trying to do, how we can let it shape our lives in ways that are not going to destroy us because shame is such a destroying emotion like I mean shame can eat you alive you just got to read the books okay I'm terrible at explaining what these books mean I'm just gonna recommend them and hopefully you guys check them out and the last book that I'm going to recommend that you guys read is a really short read I read it in one night one night on audible so each chapter is an hour and 15 minutes the beginning is just like whoa just really try to like grasp what the beginning is saying before it goes into the four agreements which is what the book is called so this is what the title looks like it's called the four agreements a practical guide to personal freedom by uh don miguel ruiz it's super blunt it's like yo here's the four agreements and if you can abide by these four agreements, things will change in your life. This is another one I'm gonna reread, I'm gonna take notes on, I'm totally gonna just try to implicate this into my life. It's definitely another one I recommend and it's a short read, so if you don't like reading long books, this is a really good one for you because you'll get done with it so quickly. Like I couldn't believe how fast I got done with this book. I would have never read this many books if it weren't for Audible. So please give it a try. I promise you guys will not regret it. All you got to do is go to audible.com slash Allison Henry. And now they even got this new text thing where you can just text Allison Henry, my name, to 500-500. That is 500. 500 <laughs> and then that's all you gotta do to get started it's pretty freaking easy you get a free book let me know which book that you end up reading first i am dying to know and if you have any recommendations for me because obviously kind of the books that i read are all in the same kind of genre because that's just what i'm into right now please don't hesitate to leave them down in the comments because i am always looking in the comments for new books i'm looking everywhere for new books like anytime i see anything i'm always like where did you read this? Like, what book is this from? Blah, 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 blah. Because, like, I'm obsessed with books now. And it's, like, crazy. Because I never thought I'd be obsessed with books. Thank you so much for your support. I really hope you check out these books. Thank you, Audible, for sponsoring this video. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Mwah.